my gosh, Fredo, you know. Fredo's my, my local brother, obviously, you get me, he's next up. It's great to see you've done something positive out of it, because not a lot of youths actually see someone else like me and take the positive side out of it. They only take the negative side out of it, you know what I'm trying to say? If you've been following Fredo's career from the very beginning, then you'll definitely know who Ratlin is. Ratlin also hails from the notorious Mozart estate in West London, and in 2011, he was one of the first UK rappers to hit over 1 million views on YouTube with his Link Up TV directed hit, Messiah. Now, the success of this track was not only a turning point in Ratlin's own career, but also in the evolution of UK rap as a whole. Rashid, the founder of Link Up TV and the director of the Messiah video, had this to say about the track's legacy. Check it out. Ratlin's Messiah was a big moment for us in terms of music videos. When that dropped, my booking started coming in as a video director because I shot that video. We got busy because of that video. Also, at the time, no one was really doing behind the scenes content, so. We did those just to build relationships with artists and get some extra content. That was quite important for us as well. If you want further evidence of Ratlin's legacy, then look no further than Fredo himself. It was actually Ratlin that introduced Fredo to the rap game. Not to the art of rapping itself, but to the lifestyle, the industry, and the prospect of a career in music. If you look closely, you can actually see a young Fredo make a cameo in the video for Messiah, back when he was just 18 years old. I still remember that day. It was crazy. We just got a call like, rah, Rats are doing a tune, Messiah. Be there for 1pm like this, but this tune. But we'd already heard this tune, so we knew how hard it was. Cinematically, there are many similarities between Ratlin's Messiah and Fredo's street anthem turn mainstream hit, They Ain't 100. The Porsche, the bottles, the fact they're both filmed on the Mozart estate. It's clear that Ratlin had a major influence on a young Fredo. Now, following the success of They Ain't 100, the two maintained close ties. They remained thick as thieves. They did shows together. On one occasion, they actually supported Post Malone here in London. <laughs> Ratlin appeared on Fredo's first two projects, Get Rich or Get Recalled, and also Tables Turn, while Fredo appeared as a guest on Ratlin's street hit, Active. They also both featured on Hypo's track, All Summer, really underrated track, in my opinion. Last year, however, everything changed. Ever since Ratlin got out of jail, back in March 2019, the two have been distant from one another. Although Fredo did recently promote Ratlin's new track, Green Light, the two have not been seen together, they've not collaborated with one another, and uh, Ratlin has actually sent shots at Fredo and others in HRB. Check it out. Now Davis, your friends that are backstabbers. The cause of this beef isn't known. However, I, like many others, have speculated that it's because Ratlin feels some sort of resentment towards Fredo. Perhaps he feels that Fredo hasn't been appreciative enough or hasn't paid homage. Regardless of the cause of this beef, I hope the two can reconcile and get back to making legendary music. If you know what's going on over on the Mozart estate, please drop a comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more content soon.